uh, this morning, on uh, Friday morning. We talked a little bit um, last uh, on Wednesday, a little bit about how to be able to go and we'll talk about portion control and how to be able to go and sort of troubleshoot some common issues with portion control that a lot of people have. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, your um, uh, your issues with uh, with being able to go and choose what to be able to go and eat on a daily basis. Because a lot of times there's a lot of different issues that people go and have with being able to stick to various different diets uh, and being able to understand a little bit more about how we can uh, we can be able to go and balance our, our meals appropriately. So uh, today I'm going to go through a little bit of uh, some of what's called the basic uh, Czech Institute uh, four day rotation diet. So a uh, little bit of background about what my, uh, my, my background is and what the Czech Institute is. So the Czech Institute is a multidisciplinary institute based out of uh, San Diego, California. It is a uh, postgraduate institute uh, I have a degree in exercise science from Alma College, and this is where my you know postgraduate work was based out of uh, uh, Czech Institute in California. Uh, if you'd like some more information, um, one of the great books that uh, Paul Czech wrote is uh, called How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy. It's a recommended reading for anyone who wants to be able to learn more about how we can make uh, choices on a daily basis to improve our health and well-being. Uh, that's a great read. Uh, as well, you can check out the checkinstitute.com. I have some also some uh, references on this uh, at my website, balanceyourfitness.com. Uh, so we're going through that. I wanted to explain a little bit about uh, what we eat on a daily basis. Most of the time, the average American, the average person eats the same seven or eight foods on a daily basis, day after day after day after day after day, right? We eat the same thing. And so what people don't realize is that these foods that we eat day after day after day after day, uh, our digestive system can become exhausted uh, to be able to, from trying to produce the same enzymes over and over and over again. So a lot of people may have issues with uh, inflammatory diseases of the bowel uh, or other different issues with food intolerance. Uh, this can sometimes be traced to having the same exact food day after day and our and our pancreas and our and our other our liver and and the the other organs that produce some of our digestive enzymes just can't keep up and we can't keep breaking down the same foods we just sort of run out of some of the various different uh, resources to be able to go and uh and uh, create uh, the necessary enzymes to break down this food so this is where a four-day rotation diet can be really really helpful and so also a lot of people out there may be struggling with various different uh, symptoms and you're wondering if you may be intolerant to a certain food. This is a great way to be able to go and, uh, uh, as I say, self-diagnose, help us get on the right path of finding out what may or may not be going and causing some of our issues. So uh, this is by no, uh, this list is by no uh, means exhaustive when it comes to being able to design a, um, a four day rotation diet, but it's a good, be a good way to be able to start. There are other ones, um, that, uh, that are, that are available out there. Uh, Paul checks work uh, divides each day when it comes to what foods you should have on each day based off of what you have that sort of the, each food, and each set of protein or carbohydrate, uh, being able to go and organize them by genus, meaning that they're all sort of the same types or, or come from the same sets of animal products or carbohydrates or fruits or vegetables. They're all sort of descended from the same genus or family of, uh, of organisms uh, on an evolutionary scale. So that's what we'll be talking about today. So uh, I have here, and I'll show you uh, some pictures here. This is uh, we have day one, day two, and I know it's kind of hard to see on my on my screen here, uh, but I'll just read through them. Here's day three and also day four. And these are straight out of the uh, How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy uh, book, so you can be able to pick that up on Amazon um, and uh, be able to go and see it for yourself. So day one, 
right here, it has under each of the lines, it says carbohydrates, protein, and also miscellaneous, meaning um, sort of add-ons that you can add to your food um, uh, and, and things of that nature. So uh, for day one, for protein, for four-day rotation diet, it gives some different options. So this is where like your red meat options would be. So like beef, uh, cheese, uh, things that come from, uh, from, from cows, uh, you know, uh, you know, other different dairy products, whether they come from a cow or sheep or a goat, uh, lamb liver are all in this, this day one. Uh, there's also different types of more uh, fattier fish like anchovies, uh, or herring or sturgeon. Uh, these are more, uh, uh, sort of the same genus of fish have a little bit more fat in them. Uh, so that's sort of that day one options when it comes to, uh, when it comes to these. And so each of these days as well, you can sort of mix and match. You don't have to do all everything on day one or day two. You know, just, these are just some different options, uh, for your carbohydrates, uh, some different options for, for day one are things like, uh, banana, currant, uh, grapes, gooseberries, guava, kiwi, uh, mango, papaya, uh, and then it goes to some vegetables like artichokes, bell peppers, carrots, celery, eggplants, fennels, all types of lettuce, uh, parsnips, tomatoes, uh, white potatoes, and yucca. So those are yucca is another type of root vegetable. So these are all from the same family. And so, you know, we can be able to go. And if you wanted to go and switch, for example, the carbohydrates from day one to day two and day two to day one, you can do that. So to just keep the same family uh, involved here. So, um and then they have a list of different spices. Uh, I tell people just to focus more on the proteins and the carbohydrates because that's where most people have issues with digesting. Um, so we're gonna go in and stick with that and not worry too much about the very various miscellaneous uh, things because most of the problems what people have come from usually the proteins or the carbohydrates that have trouble digesting. Day two, your proteins are more of your, uh, your fowl. So things like chicken, duck, eggs, um, turkey, uh, uh, things of that nature. Uh, tuna is also on day two as a different type of fish from, from the options of day one. Your carbohydrates are more of your grain-based carbohydrates. So oats, rye, wheat, barley, um, and then uh, avocados and apples and berry, all types of berries are on day two along with dates and figs. Uh, pears as well, sort of similar to apples as well, pomegranates. And some of your vegetables that would be in the same genus as well cabbage cauliflower collard greens broccoli brussels sprouts kale uh, mushrooms um, other different forms of like mustard greens radishes and turnips uh, as well that's all on day two day three goes into more of for the proteins your pork products and also your beans so things any of the pork uh, have we also include, ven uh, venison's also include on this list. Uh, also you know, for your beans, so for example, your bean type protein uh, intake, you can include all sorts of different beans on, on the third day as well. Uh, so you notice that you don't have to have the same thing at each meal and you can go and have plenty of different options to go and change things up. Uh, so uh, also there's thing for fish options that day, things like uh, flounder or halibut, uh, so more of your uh, white, some of your white fish options. Uh, there's also things like uh, swordfish and shark are also on this list. Sole as well. Uh, your, carbo uh, your carbohydrates would be things like apricots, cherries, uh, nectarines, peaches, plums, uh, pineapples, raspberries, strawberries. Um, and then some of your, uh, some of your vegetables would be things like asparagus. Um, corn, uh, leeks, onions, sweet potatoes, and yams on this day. Uh, carbohydrates for day four would, uh, or, or protein for day four, this is more of your um, shellfish type day. So this is, would be like uh, scallops and shrimp uh, and lobster type, you know, type day, um, clams, crab, and then some other different forms of fish, so like salmon, uh, mackerel, uh, uh, trout, uh, albalone would all be on this list. And uh, for carbohydrates for day four would be uh, rice uh, and then also some of your melon type fruits like cantaloupe, honeydew, watermelon, uh, 
and also some of your uh, vitamin C type fruits like uh, tangerines, oranges, uh, lemons and limes, things of that nature. Um, and some of your uh, some of your vegetables would be uh, beets, cucumbers, uh, pumpkins, olives, rhubarb, spinach, and all the various different forms of squash. So you think of like acorn squash or um, uh, other different forms of squashes. So that's that's the four day rotation. So the point of going on a four day rotation is to help our body diagnose what maybe we're not digesting well. So if we go out and we have a particular food on day one, right? And we end up feeling like on the, on like the end of day one to the beginning of day two, where we're starting to have symptoms where we're just overly tired, uh, or perhaps we are uh, getting headaches or other different forms of digestive issues. You know, we can be able to go and say, okay, well, what did I have on that day? to be able to go and say that might be causing some of these different issues, right? And so you can go through each day to be able to go and say, what did I have? Or what is causing me some of these issues? Because a lot of times when you go in and the various different forms of blood tests and other different tests, uh, more diagnostic testing for these things are number one, sometimes very expensive, but also sometimes a little bit more unreliable. So the best way to be able to go and uh, find out how we could balance our meals is to be able to go through an example of a rotation diet like this for a month, a uh, month or two months to be able to get a good idea of how our body's responding to various different types of foods. So again, you can be able to find this information. This is straight from one of uh, the Czech Institute, uh, my Czech Institute course manuals. Uh, but you can be able to find this on the How to Eat, Move and Be Healthy book. Again, highly recommend uh, everyone who wants to be able to go and learn a little bit more about their health and well-being, uh, it is well worth its uh, well worth the investment that you make for this book. Um, uh, again, a lifetime's worth of of information and and knowledge and wisdom uh, in it. So uh, definitely something I would go and recommend. So with that, I'll be able to go and uh, end today's uh, visit. Please let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, Thank you so much for your time, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Just have a great day.